Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Maximal Questions. I'm Fernando Stylus and today I'm looking at Art Studio. And we're going to start off by starting a new image. Well, as you can see, I've already been playing around with this application and I really quite like it because there's a number of things that you can do with this that you can't do with Procreate. So first of all, let's start with a new image. We've got a ch choice of a few different sizes there. We can go for uh, some small ones. We're 250 by 250 uh, if you're going to make brushes. And then it goes right up to the full iPad with retina size there. So let's go for that there. We have a choice there of whether we want to go for a white background, transparent or white and transparent. So if you could just now click on the like button, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. Let's put white and transparent on there and tell it to create. OK, so here are the layers in this bottom th corner here. And there's the uh, white layer that we were talking about. And then we've got a transparent layer. And then I've just added another layer as well. So we've got another transparent layer there as well. And we can merge layers down. So if I take that one there, I can actually take that and merge that down. Down we've just got the two layers, the white one and the one that's called layer three. I can grab that layer there and I can change it around. With the layers that you get in Procreate, then that bottom layer always has to be a white background layer, but uh, you can turn that off. So on this one here, you can have a layer at the bottom, which is a um, transparent layer, so that's okay. And we can make it an alpha layer. And we can also lock layers if we want to. That little uh, chain link thing there gives us a lock. And also what we can do is we can say what sort of um, filter or blend mode is going to be put on a layer. So for instance on this uh, layer 3, which we have selected at the moment, we can change that from being normal through to a different one here. So it could be for instance dissolve. Won't see any difference there because we haven't got anything in there yet. And we can also change the opacity of the layer too. So that's what that does there, the opacity. So we've got some brushes and pencils and spray cans and stuff. So let's start with the uh, pencils. So this one here. We've got a few choices there. So we can go for some of these tools that we've already got in there. We've got, let's say we want to go for this one here, 64. And it's um, a wide, sort of thin sort of tool. And it can have some blur on it as well. And we can flip it horizontal or flip it vertical. We'll have no flipping on it. As you see, we're getting some idea of what the brush is going to look like in this section at the top here. And also what we can do is we can change the size of it that way. And we can change the uh, the start and the ending of these things here. So if we want to have tapers at the beginnings and the end of these things, we can do. This one here changes the opacity by the look of it. So the opacity of it at the end. And this is the overall opacity, this slider at the bottom here. And let's draw something. So as you see, that's coming out great at the moment. We've got a colour swatch over on the right hand side there. And it doesn't look like you've got so many colours available to you in terms of swatches here. Because we've got these ones here and from the white, black and a couple of greys there. And so on. And a few colours there. So let's just have a look at the colour selection. OK, so these are our colour swatches that are in here. And so if I want to change colour to that one there, I can do. I've got a colour two, or colour one and colour two. And you see it's signified in that uh, top one there. So if I want to have uh, colour two as a darker green, I can do, or I can move that across and maybe have that as a um, blue. So when that comes in use, if I want to do a gradient fill, so I'm going to go a gradient from here across to here, it should now go from a uh, dark colour blue to a lighter colour blue. Thing at the bottom here, the bottom right hand corner, and we can do a backspace on that as well, so we can uh, undo a layer if we want to. What you don't get in Procreate, but you do get in this one here, is the ability to put in some text. And it gives you a bit of a idea of what you can do with it there. So at the moment it's in Art Studio in there. Put in there no stylus, and we can change the, uh, the font. Let's go for that one there, a nice bold font, and we can have it centred. Have a shadow on it as well. Well, I tried this before, I don't think the shadow is very good, but uh, we'll have a look at it anyway. So you see I put there, there's supposed to be a shadow on there, but it didn't really sort of do much. If we're getting right close to that as well, you see there it's still um, not showing much of a shadow to it. So I just went back into that again. And that is changing the size of it. In Procreate you can't do any selecting of stuff, so in this one here I can put on a rectangle. Now that's quite handy with having a rectangle on there because, for instance, with a rectangle, what I can do then is I can go to my gradient tool. Okay, so now what I can do is I can put a gradient on there, look, and it just fills within that selection there. So that's pretty good. And also I can change that selection to a round one. So there, 
we've got a circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this one here. In fact, we'll use this fill tool, which don't also, also you don't get a fill tool in the um, Procreate either. So this is quite good. And I was able to just fill that and it fills it with the uh, number one colour. Let's change colour there. Now this is a colour picker tool. And if I'm just pressing and holding down on there, I'm getting a new colour on there. It doesn't show me what the old colour is. It just shows me what the new colour is going to be in the uh, outer part of that circle there. So uh, say move down to the bottom there. It's going to be a light colour blue. So... So now if I go into my brush tools, then I'm going to do some drawing with a brush. And I can't draw anything on the white part out there. Only thing that I can do is to draw within the, where the bit that's selected there. So there you go. Well, now I can draw inside that circle there. So you can see it is quite useful to have this area of selections. So we'll go to the select menu and you can deselect. Very useful. So another thing you can do with this is we can do some smudging and I'm just going to smudge that there. So there you go. So smudging is easy with this as well. It's just smudging. And this one here is the eraser. Quite a nice eraser there. If I click and hold on that there, I'll get some choices to what uh, I want for the eraser there. So selected for current tool. So what I could do there is I could um, just change this and say, well, I want to do some um, basic, uh, change it for the basic one or custom brushes or geometric. So let's just leave it there for the current tool and we'll go for a soft uh, edge on that one there. And that gives a hard edge, that gives a soft edge. So there you go, that's the eraser tool. So there you go, that's uh, a quick look at some of the things in Art Studio and we're going to have another look and see what else we can do with it in the next video. So this is Dave Allen for No Stylus. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now.